What is up guys, it's the BYT here back in our video. This is gonna be my Super Bowl the uh, Super Brawl 2 1992 review. Let's get started here. This is the second Super Brawl out of the series. Let's get started. Uh Flying Brian defeated Jushin Thunder Liger for the world light heavyweight title in the opening match. Probably the best match of the night. A lot of good matches on here. Pretty good show overall. Pretty decent show. Uh, Flying Brian got the win. Three and a half stars. A lot of people gave this match like five stars online, but I've seen a lot of cruiserweight matches, and this one is just pretty good. Uh, three and a half stars. Al Marcus Alexander Bagwell, who I can't stand. He's one of my least favorite wrestlers of all time. He faked a neck injury, made him look like a dick. I know it, just the way he sold it pissed me off. He's like, call my mom, call my mom, call my mom. Like, fuck you, dude, fuck you. Uh, I know it's not his fault, or probably was, actually, because he's probably a piece of shit in real life. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but, I mean, just for him faking the neck injury, I know it wasn't his fault. They probably told him to do it, but I'm just not a fan of him. I just don't like his wrestling either. His wrestling's horrible. A lot of botches. Um, he gets the win. He defeats the Taylor Made Man. Two stars. Nothing great. Ron Simmons defeats Cactus Jack in a short match. They did pretty good stuff in what the time they were given. Basically, your average Ron Simmons match. He gets dominated and he comes back, gets the win. Two and three quarters. Van Hammer and Z Man defeated Vinny Vegas and Ricky Morton. Probably the worst match of the night. Um, this is actually a pretty long tag match. It was like 12 minutes, and it was probably the biggest jobber match on the card. Just wasn't into it. Just a bunch of basic moves. Uh, not very good wrestling. Some sloppy wrestling. One and a half stars. It went on a long time, too. Dustin Rowe was in Barry Windham. Defeated Stunning Steve Austin. Larry Zabisco. Pretty good match. A little long. A lot of tag matches on this show. There was like, yeah, there was like three of them. There was eight matches, almost half. Pretty good match. Uh, nothing really special here, though. Dustin Rhodes and Stun Stunning Steve Austin had so much, so many matches together. Uh, it's just like the Chavo Guerrero and Rey Mysterio thing. Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio. Dustin Rhodes and Stunning Steve Austin have so much matches together. So many matches together. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, three and a quarter out of five stars. They never really have that bad. They never really have bad matches though. Arn Anderson and Beautiful Bobby Eaton defeated. Let's call him Beautiful Bobby. Defeated the Steiner brothers for the WCW Tag Team Titles and the DQ. Probably the second best match of the night. Pretty good fast-paced action. The Steiners had a lot of good matches back in the day. Well, later in their careers, they really didn't have that many, but back in the day, the Steiners were awesome. They had really good matches. They were very fast. Um, did a lot of suplexes. I'm a, I like suplexes. Especially, that's why I like Taz so much. Um, what happened at the end here? I think... Uh, Oh, uh, they threw powder in Rick Steiner's face, and then Rick Steiner suplexed the referee by accident because he couldn't see. Three and a half stars. Moving on, Rick Rude defeated Ricky Steamboat, the U.S. title, in a, like a little cheap fashion here. I don't remember the ending. He got knocked out by somebody. Oh yeah, it was Paul Lee pretending to be one of Ricky Steamboat's followers, and he had a mask on, which I already probably I knew was already him. I didn't know it, but I made a prediction it was him, and it was. And he hit the phone on uh, Ri uh, Ricky Steamboat's head, which made Rick Rude get the win. Um, a little, really long, but for the U.S. title match, but um, had some good psychology, good wrestling, uh, three and a quarter. Sting defeated Lex Luger for the WCW title. Very disappointing. I was expecting a lot better. Um, these guys could do a lot better. And it just felt like these guys weren't even trying in this match. Lex Luger seems like 50% of the matches he's in, it doesn't seem like he's trying. Uh, 
in this one for some reason he didn't seem like he was trying it's a WCW title match uh, Sting did end up getting the win here he won with a, a cross body lateral press and a uh, nice spot where Harley Race tried to give Sting a pile driver on the outside and Sting burst into a back body drop he hit really hard too um, he was pretty old, Harley Race at this time. Um, yeah, nothing really. It was kind of bo I was bored throughout the main event. Two stars, not a very good one. Not a very good main event. Pay per view gets a 6.75 out of 10. This is miles better than the last one. See you guys later. Um, I'm gonna be making a Dolph Ziggler sucks video. Uh, maybe later today. I mean, it's 11:18 p.m. I'm really tired or tomorrow. See you guys later. Peace out. A Dolph Ziggler rant video.